Hello. Um, I didn't really, I didn't record anything yesterday. I did a little bit of work. I worked on my uh, my own like English lesson video stuff, but I didn't do any of this. Uh, and for that, I apologize. Um, but I do have some more thoughts I want to share. Um, one of them is I've been hearing more and more from friends uh, that they think the whole virus is all hyped up and that there are people that are going to take advantage of this hype. Maybe there's a reason why it's very hyped um, beyond just the fact that it's incredibly contagious, but that there's, you know, a hidden hand directing all this stuff. Um, and people react to that in a couple different ways, it seems. Some people acknowledge that, yes, this is very contagious and we need to do something. And then there's other people that are all swept up with the, the hoax idea that they just say, screw it, this is all fake, let's not do anything about it. Um, we're not going to convince people to abandon their theories, to abandon their conspiracy theories, their hoax theories, their uh, the media blew this up intentionally theories, the all that. We're not going to convince them that that's not the case. You know? I mean, there's a plausibility behind it. I don't agree with any of it, but is it plausible? I guess so. Regardless, that doesn't negate the fact that this is a wildly contagious virus, a pathogen that humans just have not seen ever before or encountered. It is incredibly unique, which means if you come in contact with it, you're kind of going to get it. You're going to get it, and it probably won't harm you. And I can't believe this, this is something that still needs to be said. Yeah. It, you're probably going to be okay. You probably won't die, but you will pass it on to someone else. And if everyone, if this remains unchecked, it is the kind of virus that will spread everywhere to every person. And even if it is a small percentage, smaller than, okay, and this is another thing. People are saying the death rate is actually in reality a lot lower than people are saying it's not 3.4% or 4% or 2 whatever. They're saying it's much, much, much lower because we're not taking into account all the infected people that haven't been tested and confirmed. Fair enough. That is a fair point. In my mind, that is a very fair point. It is very possible that the death rate is actually a lot lower. However, it's still high enough that if you infect the entire world, even just the entire United States, if three, 330 million people get this virus, even a sliver of that population is still a lot of people. It's still millions of people. Even if it's, what, 1%? It's still 3 million people dead. That's a lot of people, right? Even if it's just 1%. Um, so yeah, let's just, uh, let's stop getting swept up with the idea that this might be a crisis that people have taken advantage of and decided, wait, we can actually gain economically from this or in some sort of political power, or some sort of US versus China bullshit. Okay, but <laughs> you still need to stay the fuck home. You still need to check this thing because you can't let it run wild. It's driving me crazy. Uh, this still has to be said. I, I, I... And there's the people that don't believe the scientists because, well, the scientists, you know, anyone uh, who has a voice loud enough to uh, be spread across all the popular media must be connected to the government somehow or maybe uh, be influenced. And so how can we trust their science is funded by this person or that person or, oh my God, come on, stop it. This <laughs> just, this isn't a fucking Ayn Rand novel. All right. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, um, so... For the first time, I actually know someone who had the virus. Crazy. Yeah, I got a buddy who um, started f having a fever, and then he uh, got chills. He went fever, chills, headache, aches and pains, cough. Then he had the respiratory problems. He said it took four days for him to develop a cough after the fever. It took four days for him to develop a cough, and then it took a week for him to get over it. So he actually did go to the hospital, he wasn't put on any special equipment, um, like a respirator or a respirator or ventilator. He did say he was very short of breath a couple times, but he pushed through and he was okay. He said it was just like a very rough cold um, for him, but it was still, you know, con concerning. He uh, He's a smoker, and uh, I think he said he had high blood pressure, so those two things may have made him a little more susceptible to the more severe symptoms. But yeah, he got it. He has no idea how. He's here in, in China as well, um, and he said he doesn't know. He must have touched the surface. He said he only went outside like once, 
I'm just down quarantine just to like get some supplies or something and yeah so very very easy to get gotta wash those hands um yeah crazy but he's okay he's good he uh was tested again um tested negative was discharged from the hospital and he's good but yeah we get it too we can still develop some severe symptoms as young people anyway i guess that's it that's kind of all i have today sorry this is a boring one um but i'll try to be more entertaining today so this is now day seven i'm in day seven now uh officially it is like sorry is it <clears throat> as i'm talking to you it is eight eight in the morning here on day seven for me halfway point yeah okay so i'll talk to you soon bye bye